everybody, Backyard William here, coming to you today with a travel vlog. I am heading on up to the Edinburgh Assay Office bright and early tomorrow morning, doing some last minute packing the night before. Uh, and I'm bringing with me this suitcase, which all told will weigh about 25 kilos. There's 23 odd kilos worth of silver in this monster box and these various different business boxes and baggies. So uh, why are we doing this? Well, we are doing this primarily for the 100 gram silver foreign bars, which are neatly packed away in this monster box. Uh, if you haven't seen some of the videos I've done on these 100 gram silver foreign bars over the last few weeks, I'd highly recommend you go and start with those. There's links to them down in the description below. But basically, they are bars to help support the silver forum. And I've hand poured 150 of them and I'm now taking them up to Edinburgh to get them hallmarked. And the bizarre thing is that it actually costs less for me to fly this much silver up there than it would for me to post it with the requisite insurance, which is pretty mad and that's the way the world works but I'm going to take full advantage of that and have a nice day out in Edinburgh. I'm going to bring you guys along as best I can on a vlog style video. We're also going to be filming an interview with the Edinburgh Assay Office CEO which should make for a very interesting video in itself and that's going to come out next weekend. So make sure if you haven't already to hit the subscribe button and then you'll catch that interview when it comes out in a week's time. But uh, it should be a very interesting trip. Last year, I did a very similar trip. In fact, I did the same route and the same trip with probably not as much silver, but uh, very similar. Uh, and going through airport security was very interesting in its own right. So hopefully it'll all go smoothly like it did last year, but I will give you as much updates as I can. And one other cool little bit, which is different to last year, is that I am going to be bringing with me a pocket piece of silver. And that is this, the first of its kind, which is a three ounce silver forum round. And uh, it's just a bit of a prototype item that we made a couple of weeks ago and I haven't actually unveiled it yet, but here it is. And I thought it would be cool to have this and get it out of my pocket to share with you guys as I walk around Edinburgh. Uh, it's kind of that uh, silver forum goes on tour mentality that I've got in my head. I thought it would be kind of fun and cool. Of course, it's actually going back to the Edinburgh office because it's already had its hallmark applied, as you can see underneath the three ounces there. But anyway, enough about that. I have a lot of packing to do and then I have to get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I hope you enjoy the vlog, sit back and relax and I'll see you guys at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I am out of airport security now, just waiting for my boarding gate to be announced. So I thought I'd get you out of my pocket and uh, show you some of the glorious sunshine that we have here on this lovely morning here in Gatwick. Now I've just come through airport security and uh, as the same with last year, it was a very interesting experience and uh, one which was actually very painless in the end. So just went through the airport security, put your bags through the scanners, because I can't record any of the uh, things that go on in there, but um, the security uh, attendants were very pleasant, very nice, and when I asked for a private room, they just asked me why and what was in it, and I explained, and they were absolutely fine with it, and we took uh, everything into a private room, got it all out, well not all of it, but got a sample of it all out. They took some swabs and asked me a few questions about what I was doing, where I was going, and all was good. So that's uh, very interesting. That's um, obviously not a bad thing to be able to fly with your silver bully. And one thing though that uh, the security attendant mentioned was he said uh, that it was an incredibly heavy bag and he asked how much the entire bag was worth and of course you know 20 odd kilos at spot price is maybe around about nine thousand pounds worth of silver and it's interesting that something that heavy is not necessarily worth that much which is something I've said a few times in the past but anyway enough about that for now I am now waiting for my gate hopefully it will be announced pretty soon and then we'll head on up to Edinburgh
So just come out of the Edinburgh Assay office and all done with the interview. Boy oh boy was that a really, really fun session with the uh, head of the Edinburgh Assay office, Scott. Stay tuned, next weekend I am going to be releasing these interviews. There's going to be two parts, maybe even three parts, because we were talking for, gosh, nearly 45 minutes to an hour, I think it was. So uh, I need some time to go through all the footage and edit it together, but it was a really interesting interview all about the assay office, about the history of the assay office. We got to look at some very special pieces, and one of them dates back to the 1500s. Absolutely amazing stuff. So. Now all that's left to do is have a little bit of lunch, so I'm going to go find somewhere to have a sit down and a bit of a bite to eat, and then back to the airport. and Mrs. Backyard Bullion has very kindly picked me up from the airport and we're on our way home now. What a day though, I've had a fantastic time up at the assay office. We filmed the interview with the CEO uh, and boy oh boy was that a great interview. So that's gonna come out next weekend. I'm sorry I couldn't show you much more of the assay office today, but there's some very good news. Next time I go up, in a few weeks time, I will actually be doing some stamping up there. I'm going to be putting on my own sponsors mark, the BYB mark that you see here. Uh, I'm not allowed to do the hallmarks themselves, but I have had it agreed that I'll be able to do that on camera and also watch the hallmarks being put on one of the bars, which is great. So if you like this vlog, please do put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of Edinburgh. And if you'd like to see more of these kind of uh, videos, then please do let me know down in the comment section. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.